Yo, what's up guys, it's Zeo here, and today, we're going waifu hunting. We only want one thing, uh, well, technically two. Two things, we want two things, Diabelle Star and SP Little Knight. Let's go, we're gonna get it, core century, let's go. But before that, guys, if you guys could subscribe, it would really help, you know, I, I hurt my arm really bad, you know, I, I, my, my dog died, um, my, my pool's on fire. All right, guys, I am excited to open this. Uh, a lot of great things in the set, so, uh, you know, we can go a long way here, but, uh, you know, I just want a couple nice secret rares, you know, but to be honest, a lot of good cards in a lot of different rarities. Um, well, that's weird. It's uh, upside down. Interesting. I'm going to leave it like this for the uh, for the OCD people to uh, to go crazy. And then I'm, I'm going to open them upside down too. I'm at it to uh, mess that one up even more. <laughs> Let's go. Pendulum Evolution. Soul of the Supreme Celestial King. Escape Goat. Watt Tuna and TG Mighty Striker. TG is gonna be coming. Uh, is gonna be coming back. Although I don't. Wait, was it ever an archetype that like people actually played? All right, this is throwing off my uh, muscle memory, but yeah, TG is uh, kind of nice now. They can calamity lock. That's always uh, great. And, yo, Ken. Ken is here, guys. This Ken and Gen enable Dark World and a bunch of other decks. So I'm, I, we might be visiting Dark World at some point. I'm not even gonna try and read that, bro. What? <laughs> but uh, a Horus card. Uh, you probably only play like one of this guy, if even one. Uh, I'm not sure which ones you would play out of like the bad ones, quote quote. But um, but they all just special summon those stuff as level eight, so most of them don't matter. The only one you play three of is the um, is the searcher for the sarcophagus because the sarcophagus you need that or you lose is basically that deck. That's basically the deck. Play the Testina, and our first ultra rare is Tainted of the Testina. Not a, uh, not a great ultra. I'm not gonna lie. Um, from what I've seen, the Testina cards aren't aren't anything crazy. Um, but you know, it is what it is. You know, new deck can't all be good. Yo, new illusion, new illusion monster, guys. Come on, you guys, you guys need that. Snake Eye Oak might be visiting Snake Eye again. Gen and Ken, they're here. The two go together. But the Snake Eye Oak, though. We might be playing some Snake Eye. I don't know. We're for sure playing Dia Bellstar. But I don't know if we're playing Snake Eye. That might be something to visit. What do you guys think? Your Fire Recovery? Fire Support? There's been a lot of Fire Support lately, guys. Like, a lot of Fire Support. <laughs> An unreasonable amount lately. So, maybe uh, that's the new one they're... Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> um, yes? We take those. Okay, we take those. Um, now not to buy one. Let's go. Oh my goodness, I, I had a loss of words there for a second. I was, I was going a little crazy. You know what I'm saying? I was going a little crazy, but now I feel great. Oh my goodness, this card is broken. For those of you who don't know, uh, link to, uh, 1600 attack. Nothing too crazy there. Two effect monsters. That's pretty good. But a warrior. And the effect is if this card is linked summoned using a fusion synchro axis or link monster as material, you can target one card on the field or in either graveyard, banish it. Also, your monsters can attack directly directly this turn. So that part doesn't matter. But I mean it's a double banish because when your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can target two face-up monsters on the field, including a monster you control, banish both until the end phase. So you can banish your own SP Little Knight and one of your opponent's monsters to kind of keep her in rotation and make it really hard for your opponent to out her because she's going to come back during end phase and then next turn you can just do it again so that's why that's really good and she's just a link to yo new um what's a chimera card here this one just foolishes a um like a beast fiend or illusion i believe uh let me see you can send one beast fiend or illusion yeah and then you can like during your opponent's turn quick effect uh special summon so there's a lot of cool things people are trying to do and cool as in um kind of like ftk types of cool i guess you could say Yo, another ken so pretty much what people are doing it's just you know summoning a monster that says like your opponent can't draw cards and then like they make them play a card that makes them draw or like lose all their cards and then draw so stuff like that yo tg glade blaster one of the new uh, tg cards you definitely play uh, i'm pretty sure it's like pretty good i haven't watched too much about the tgs but from what I've seen, they're they're pretty solid. They can play a lot of uh, hand traps, and they can play um, you know they can make calamity on on your turn. 
So that's always fun. A deck that can do that. Definitely, um, I'm definitely not playing, not gonna play a deck that can do that, right? I would never, never. Oh, and the new Infernoble, um, Infernoble Knight equip spell, pretty much. Uh, it's a way to negate a spell card. Um, it doesn't activate, which is kind of cool. It's one of those like weird effects. It just negates it. So you can just negate like, something like a Dark Ruler after you make a build a board. And uh, you are in there. You know what I'm saying? Wings of Light. Kind of a cool looking card. Uh, these are like so close to like looking like ghost rares. They just have to like have a tint of like white and it looks like a ghost rare. Alright guys. I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with the box so far. Well, with the secret. With the one secret. <laughs> it's funny that the one secret is making me um, feel really good about the set. And not any of the ultras. Uh, the only ultra I think I want is probably the new Vanker Soul Ultra, Jiao Long. Because uh, I'm actually playing that deck. So, really the only thing I'm looking for. Exceed the Pendulum. Pretty good. Obviously for Pendulum decks. Another Gen. Ken and Gen, baby. I'm surprised those were not like ultras or something. Because the, those two are really good. Effectively, um, OTK or FTK people and well speaking of Zhao Long okay Zhao Long hello there really good I mean fire level five fire worm we were needing a good fire monster besides the uh the Pluton so this is a good really good replacement I'm not sure if I'm playing two or three um I kind of feel like he's a two of but then again who knows uh we'll find out later on in uh this guy again I'm not saying his name I don't know who Wants me to say his name, but that's just that's just not happening, guys. Come on. I can't. I can't afford that. I can't afford language classes, guys. Come on. Because I'm paying for this. Yo, Ogdotic? Ogdotic cards? In 2023? What's going on? I thought we left that card in... Uh, I thought we left that archetype way long ago. What's going on? New support? It's probably not good, because I haven't really heard much about it. Yo, oh, shoot, man. Oh, 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 Yo, this box was crazy. Oh, my goodness. Everything I wanted. Because you needed this. Wanted. Uh, wanted. Everything I wanted. See what I did there? But you need three copies of this card. And then one DL Bell Star, typically. So, um, yo, a three of I need in secret? I'll take that. Um, I mean, basically, just adds the Bell Star from uh, deck or graveyard. And then... And also during the main phase, you can banish this uh, card target one simple spoils spell trap that is banished or in the graveyard. And then sh uh, put it at the bottom of the deck and then draw one. So basically recycles whatever you used to get the Dia Bellstar engine going, which is really, really nice. And it's a quick play. It's a quick play card that adds. So you can um, so you can like chain the effect to add after like draw after like, you know, chain the draw. So that's like something really cool you can do. Right, guys one more ultra and maybe a quarter century i doubt at this point you know yo again we'll uh we'll be holding on to gen and ken's you know what i'm saying i gotta gatekeep not give them any to my locals so they don't use it on me but i use it on them you know what i'm saying <laughs> yo pin knife philly this card is actually pretty good though from what i've seen oh there's our last ultra odd eyes arc arc ray dragon odd eyes stuff but hey i'm 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 chilling this box crazy this box was crazy i'll take it we we took our wins yo synchro rumble i am satisfied that's all i'm saying last pack there could be still a quarter century let's see it guys come on let's see it quarter century quarter century man let's go yo tricentosaurus exaraptor curse bride doll and then a uh, oh wait no never mind next one simple spoils of doom and a TG my check. Okay, double up on that. That's fine. That's fine. Yo, guys. So that's. I mean, that's it. But um, two cars I wanted. I mean, we take those. We take those wins. You know what I'm saying? This box was a plus. I'm happy. I got my. I also got my Jiao Long. You know, get to play with the Ultra before I get the Quarter Century. You know what I'm saying? You know, shh, hard on that. All right, guys. That's it for the video. Let me know what you guys think about the box, about the sets. And uh, if you guys are going to go in on the set, I actually really like the set. But, uh, you know, getting Kendo too, you know, you'll get these. You're going to need them. All right, guys, that's it. Like I said, let me know what you guys think. And uh, I'll see you guys later, right? Peace out.